My name is Lucy Baines Johnson. I'm the younger daughter of Lyndon and Lady Bird Johnson. I stand behind my mother's White House portrait, but the picture that I wished I had in front of me is a picture of my mother on the back of the Lady Bird special. It was a train that she took across the southern part of the United States during the campaign of 1964. And it is this story that I would like to share with you because it is my inspiration for how much a woman's right to vote will be forever important. On July the 2nd, 1964, my father signed into the law of the land the 1964 Civil Rights Act, which ended legalized apartheid in our country. No longer would we have the separate water fountains and separate toilets of my youth that were so painful to so many people of color. It was a great day for America, but it was a painful day for many people in the South. My mother and father were both Southerners. They cared deeply about the Southern part of the United States. My mother wanted to mend the pain of it all. And she asked the campaign if she could take a whistle stop train across the South, encouraging people to stand up and be counted on November 3rd and vote for Lyndon Johnson. Many people in the campaign thought that that was a foolish way to spend our money, our resources, our time, and most especially the energies of the First Lady of the land. But my mother, who was a fervent supporter of civil rights, thought it was terribly important to reach out and try to bind the wounds that the Civil War still had left amongst us. So she went on this train, the first woman who was the wife of the President of the United States to campaign alone. And she traveled throughout the South from one state to the other, while the audiences would throw tomatoes at her and saying, Lady Bird, Lady Bird, Black Bird, Black Bird, fly away home. Needless to say, it caused her great pain, but a response to it will forever be my inspiration because I remember standing behind her then when she stood up on the back of that train and said to the audiences, it's so good to be back in the southern part of the United States where even if you don't like what I have to say, at least you understand the way I say it. And the audience broke out in laughter and reached back will serve as my inspiration always how important it is for women to vote and to women to remain the healers, those that reach out in consolation, those who try to bring people from different sides of the table back to discussion of the problems of the land at hand. The importance every woman will always have in getting out the vote and getting out the voters. I hope that this will be your inspiration. It will always be my own.